Welcome to the Limitless Roleplay CAD tutorial. I am Big D, Assistant Manager with Limitless Roleplay, and I'm here to show you guys how to log into the new CAD from a civilian standpoint. Once you get to the site, you're obviously first going to have to create an account. Once you type in your email, user, password, and confirm that password, it's going to send you a verification email, which is going to look something like this. Uh, for your Gmail users, note that I had to go to all mail before I could see it. It wouldn't pop up in inbox or spam, but this is what it looks like. Once you hit this verify email button, it's going to redirect you back to the site, which is then going to redirect you back to here. So once you're here, you're going to get logged in with your newly verified account. Once you're here, you're going to need to type in your permission key. For you, for your first time, you're not going to see these uh, couple buttons here, uh, but you will see this field here to type in a permission key. Where What you will need to type in is the word CIV. Uh, that is very important. You actually make sure you do that in all caps as it is case sensitive. Once you type in CIV, you hit enter, and that sets your permissions here on the site. You can dismiss that, and you will then see these buttons. So we're going to start off first with civilian. Uh, you'll see I already kind of created one here for Skater Magoo. Um, what you would do here is hit the new character and fill all this information in. Um, it's very important that you are as detailed as possible with all this information. Um, you can even, like you saw me, upload a little mugshot if you want of your character. Um, there's probably going to be duplicate names, so do be sure to be as... Um, detailed as possible when it gets to this point. Once you've done that, you'll see your character here. So next is when you're going to want to set up your licenses. Uh, depending on how you want to RP, you can set your license to be suspended or uh, valid or rejected, however you want to do it. But to do that, you're going to go up here to DMV, License, and here's where you would set it. You can, however you want to RP it, Approved, uh, Valid, uh, it's my driver's license, and you set an expiration date. Eventually, we do intend to do something more, a more automated system with this expiration date. Stay tuned for that. Once you've filled in this information, you're going to hit Add Record, and that's it for your vehicle license. For your weapon license, it's the same process. Say I want to say I'm rejected this time. It's suspended my weapon license, and I can set the date to in the past. Once you have that set, Add Record, boom, driver's license, Weapon license done. Um, lastly, the thing you're going to want to do is register your vehicles. Again, same thing. You can set it to approved. You can suspend it, stolen, however you want to do it. Set your expiration date. And then add your vehicle information here. So let's say I'm doing Samantha. License plate Sam. Make gargoyle. Model, I don't know, color black, year 2010. Add record, boom, now that vehicle is registered to you and you're gonna to wanna to do that for all of your vehicles. Uh, that's pretty much all you would ever need to do here at the civilian side of things. What you can also do is look yourself up from the DMV standpoint. So if you click this little hamburger menu up here, go to community men uh, menu, DMV, you can click look up here and actually see what you would look like from a cop's perspective. Search Skeeter. Boom. You see there's one civilian labeled with Skeeter. Uh, there's a bunch of records here. Looks like uh, some from a previous recording, but you can look at your license plate. And you notice now you can also grab these windows and move them around. So say I want to look at my license and, oh, it's a rejected weapons license. You can see all of this. You can even print this stuff out to a nice little PDF for if you want to use this for some, you know, RP purposes, you can. All right. Um, lastly, when you first log into the server, you're going to see a message up here at the top of your screen. It's going to say something to the effect of you need to verify your CAD by punching in this app ID and then a long number. To do that, you're going to come back here to the CAD, get this little hamburger menu up here, go to settings, and this app ID here. You're going to type in the number for me. It was like 1000011234, whatever AEC 
then you hit save. Once you hit save, you can go back here in the in game and just type slash verify CAD and that text at the top of your screen should go away. And that's basically it for a Civ on the new CAD. That's pretty much everything you need to know. If you have any further questions, comments, concerns, please go to the noob support or tech support in our Discord and ask any of our lovely helpers. Thanks, guys.